You can save time on user management by uploading users in bulk. If you're a fax to mail admin, all you need is a CSV file. The file must have at least these five column headers. The action column can include the values add, update, or delete. For each user you want to add, enter add in the action column. Enter an email address and a name. In the service column, add fax to mail or mail to fax, depending on the type of account the user needs. Then add a password. It's required for each user. If you want to add users to a specific group, add a group column and specify the name of the group. You can add specific fax numbers by adding a fax number column header. If you don't assign a fax number, fax to mail will automatically assign one. Add an exchange column header if you want to assign a specific area code and exchange to the user. For example, if the area code is 732 and the exchange is 555, then you'd enter 732555 in this column. You can also specify whether to automatically activate users and whether to send them a confirmation email. To update a user, the action and email address column headers are required. Then add columns for the information you need to change. Let's say we have an existing mail-to-fax user and we want to add the fax to mail service and assign a fax number. It would look like this. To delete users, you only need two columns, action and email address. To upload your list of users, go to Administration and then select Manage Users. Choose a group. Under Group Action, select Bulk Upload and then upload the file. To learn more about fax to mail check out the other videos in this series.